Folks, I want to explain to you today how you can manifest anything you want to manifest. You can create whatever life you dream of and you can do it by implanting yourself into the vortex where creation actually happens. Now there is a vortex, there is a vortex of creation. It's like jumping into a mighty rushing river that's going to take you down past the river banks to exactly where you want to be. You can jump into this river and you can start today if you will do what I'm about to show you. So hang with me, it's not going to take long, but today has the potential to really move you forward. So come on, let's kick straight on into it. Hi folks, welcome to Elevate for a New Day. My name is Ben. It's such a pleasure to spend this time with you. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for finding the channel, however you have. Thanks for reaching out. I love interacting with you. Well, make sure you leave me a message. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, please do consider subscribing and joining our family here. I post new videos every single day of the week. There's 700 of them on the channel or more by now. So when we're done here, make sure you go and have a look what else is there. We've got playlists on law of attraction, manifesting money, losing weight with the law of attraction like I've done in my own life. We've got playlists on energy, on alignment, on meditations. Folks, you'll find it all here. And today I want to talk with you about something that, something I really enjoy, something that we call the vortex of creation. Now you might have heard about this being in the vortex business. Today I want to just break this down for you and show you how you can actually jump into the stream that is going to take you to where you want to be. Have you ever gone out after it's been raining and the rainwater is rushing through the gutters? Maybe when you're a little kid. This is something I do with my two young boys. You go outside and you drop maybe like a leaf or a piece of bark or something into that rushing water and boom, off it goes. Down the road it goes. So very often with my kids, we will, we've got a couple of local creeks and if it's been raining and the water's running, we'll go down to the creek and we'll build ourselves little boats out of sticks and twigs or maybe paddle pop sticks and we'll set up little courses through the river and we'll drop it in up here and fuel off it goes, racing downstream all the way through to the finish line. Did you know that you can do the same with your life? This eternal struggle that we all seem to find ourselves enduring seasons of, of if it is to be, it's up to me and I've got to make this thing happen and I've got to get up each and every day, I've got to go to work, I've got to make this thing happen, I've got to plough the fields, I've got to do this and I've got to do that and is it ever going to work and maybe I'm doing something wrong and then we get into this massive cycle of dysfunction. Before we know it, we fall down in a heap. See... There's an easy way to your finish line. There's an easy way to enter your promised land, to receive your dream. You can actually be in flow with the universe, like being in the flow of the river that leads to where you want to be. Doesn't that sound like an easier way of getting there? Doesn't it sound easier just to jump into the flowing water that leads you straight to where you want to be rather than trying to swim and wrestle against the tide and drowning and gasping for air? Folks, this is what the vortex does. This is what putting yourself into this vortex and knowing how to do it effectively, this is what it does. It's nothing freaky, it's nothing scary, it's nothing weird. It's simply doing what you want to do when you want to do it. Does that sound like a world you'd like to live in? Doing exactly what you want to do, exactly at the time that you want to do it. Now hang with me. There's a couple of defining factors here that make this work. See, this is not about living a slovenly life. This is not about, it's midnight and I feel like a snack so I'm going to go and make myself a three course meal. This is not about I want to be rich and famous, but I feel like staying in bed all day, so I'm just going to stay in bed all day. Being in the vortex is about spending some time being intentional with your thoughts. You've got to set yourself up for this, and it's something that you need to do each and every day. But if you can do this, 
you will get to where you want to be quickly and easily and without the struggle. You see, if you set yourself up for success every day, you think with intentional energy, you involve the feelings of your emotions in what you want. Now, what is it that you want? Is it a relationship? Is it money? Is it a job? Is it home? Is it peace? Anything that you want, you can move swiftly towards it and let the universe do the work for you. If you intentionally think on that thing and allow your feelings to be involved, get emotional about it, and then all day long, simply follow the promptings that you have within yourself. They come initially as a very small voice. They come initially as just a little prompting. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I shouldn't go there. Maybe I should do that instead. And so often these little promptings seem counterintuitive. We have our whole day planned out and the little voice will say, mm, you know what? Don't go to that meeting. And the little voice might even sound something that makes you really question it, like, don't go to that meeting. Instead, stay home, put your pyjamas on and eat junk food. And now you think to yourself, this, this just, this can't, this can't be right. This isn't what Ben was talking about. I'm supposed to be out at this meeting and now I've got this prompting to stay home in my pyjamas and watch Netflix and eat junk food and that can't be right. But you see, here's the rub, folks. The power comes when you simply obey the voice. Now you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen when you go out to that meeting. Maybe everything will be fine. But maybe it won't. Maybe you'll miss a phone call you were supposed to get that's going to set you up with your destiny. Maybe there's someone that needs you to get alongside them. But if you hadn't gone out to that meeting, you, you would never have been there. You didn't have the time. Maybe there's a, a car accident on the way to the meeting. Maybe it was a setup. You don't know. We think that we know because we assume what the outcome is going to be, but we don't know. So being in the vortex says, whatever the prompting is within me, I will obey it. Now let me give you a hot tip here that is going to help set you up for absolute success with this and it's going to do it very fast. When you begin really tuning in to that still small voice, when you really begin honing in on that prompting within and you start receiving, you start hearing it and you think to yourself, that can't be right because it will say strange things to you. It will say things to you that if you follow them, they were so strange that if you follow them and you get an outcome you want, you will absolutely know, well, that, that has to have been that voice. So when you start hearing these promptings, here's the deal. Set aside one day a week, whatever you can afford. If you can afford more, do it for more. But set aside at least one day a week where you will do nothing but follow that prompting. Make the commitment from the outside that you will do nothing except follow what you think that prompting is, what you think that prompting is telling you, what you think you hear, and you will not question it. Just make the commitment, follow it blindly, even if you feel at the time like an absolute fool. Stand by your commitment. I guarantee you that if you do this, you say, right, tomorrow's my day. Every prompting that I feel on the inside, I'm just going to follow it blindly. I will not question it, no matter how crazy it seems. I'm just going to immediately do it. If tomorrow's that day, you wake up and the first thing the prompting says is, have the day off work and eat ice cream. The first thing the prompting says is, call that person up that you haven't spoken with for three years because you had a fallout with them. When the prompting says, drive down to the shops, you drive to the shops and you walk past a homeless person, the prompting says, give that person $50. You look in your wallet and that's all you have. Follow the prompting. If you can do this, folks, please hear me. This is where the rubber meets the road. Nothing will get you flowing towards your dream quicker than learning to hear the voice of the universe. And that is being in the vortex. Being in the vortex is being so in tune with the voice of the universe that you just follow it immediately. When you sit down to watch TV and you turn it on and all of a sudden you get a prompting that says change the channel. And you don't want to change the channel because you're involved and engaged in what you're watching. You just change the channel because it matters too much to follow the prompting. You see, if you were wrong 
And that wasn't a prompting of the Spirit saying, change the channel. If you were wrong, you can just change the channel back. But if you were right, and you didn't change, you've just missed a destiny moment. This is how you hone in to the voice of the Spirit. This is how you practice hearing from the universe. This is how you access the vortex. You do what you want, when you want it, but it's more than that. See, you do what you feel prompted and led to do the very moment you feel prompted and led to do it. You know, so often I'll stand up in front of the camera here and I'll have an idea or an outline about something I'm going to talk about. I don't ever write scripts. I'll just have an idea on my phone. Maybe it'll be a title of a video. Or maybe it'll be a quote that I really love. Maybe it'll be something I've read that's really spoken to me. Maybe it'll be sharing a story about something I've been through or something I've helped someone through that I think is relatable. And so I'll stand up and I'll just start talking like I'm doing right now. But something incredible will happen. I'll have a prompting on the inside that'll say, tell them this story. Just completely on the fly. Tell them about when that happened. And sometimes it's personal stuff. Sometimes it's about my darkest seasons, about my nervous breakdown, about me losing my marriage and my business a decade ago. Sometimes it's, it's really deep and personal stuff. And do you know that I just follow this voice? You know, I've, I've lived through too much and I've seen too much and I've been through too much to give up on that now. So I, just, I always just follow the voice. And it's those videos where people reach out and they say, wow, that was really meaningful to me, Ben. Thank you for sharing that story or thank you for talking about this. And that, man, that lifts me up. That encourages me so much because to me, that means the prompting I had in that moment was the spirit. And the spirit cared enough about what you needed to hear that it would prompt me and know that I'm a faithful servant and that I would follow that prompting and then there you are, in a destiny moment, ready to receive it. Folks, this is how you get to manifesting what you want. It's not one great big leap and you're there. It's hundreds and hundreds of tiny destiny moments that mark the way all the way through to the gates of your promised land. You don't manifest what you want overnight and just jump straight into the fullness of that. Your dream is may, being made manifest one small destiny moment at a time. The way that you have a destiny moment is to be in the vortex. The way you have a destiny moment is to listen for the promptings and obey the still small voice. Do what you feel led to do it the minute you feel led to do it. If you feel like going to the shops, go to the shops. If you feel like going for a walk, go for a walk. If you feel like calling someone, call someone. If you feel like, and I mean you feel led, you feel like sitting down and eating ice cream, do it. Do whatever you feel prompted to do and then just be observant. See what happens around about you. You will see the pages turning. Just be obedient, folks. Get into that vortex. It is the quickest way to realizing your dream. Now, I love you so much. I hope that this has blessed you. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if it has. And don't forget to subscribe and come back tomorrow. Go and have a look at either of these before you find something else to do today, folks. I know they're going to help you. I love you so much. Thanks for your time.